What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool iceberg style um, environment. It's going to be a very easy to follow tutorial and fast to do. So let's get started. Alright, so first of all, we will need some things to get started. So first of all, we'll need um, the water plugin. Um, so just go into edit plugins, you search for water and then just enable it and then it will just say that it's an experimental but it will be okay for us just press okay and then you have to restart the editor okay use the pop-up will appear down here restart the editor and then uh, you have the plugin enabled then we'll need some assets from quixel mega scans so just go into window quixel bridge and you search here for ice press on 3d assets and then we have a really cool list of different ice uh, well, meshes. Um, in my case, I'm gonna be using this one, the ice cliff. Um, I'm gonna be also using the snowy ground. And then lastly, I'm gonna be using the ice cliff, um, which is a bit lower. Um, basically this three, okay? They're pretty much th the three first ones in the row. Okay, so just go ahead and uh, download them using Nanite, and then just click add, and you will have it in your draw pride. Okay, so let's start creating the scene. So let's go into file, new level, and in my case, it's gonna be just a basic level and it's great. All right, so now what we will do is just go ahead and delete the um, floor level. And what we need to do is just drag our water ocean into the scene. But to do that, we have to create a landscape, even though uh, we are not really gonna use the landscape, right? So let's go up here into select mode and just go into landscape. And we're just gonna create a really small landscape, simple, um, with no tweaking, pretty much. So we have to enable edit layers because the water plugin works in different layers, and that scale is pretty good. Even though we're just gonna have a little iceberg island, but it's okay. And you just press uh, on create. And then what we're going to do is go back into select mode. You just go into quickly attribute bright. Go to all classes, type water, and then we find the. Uh, water body ocean just drag it into your scene and then um, we'll have the watch over here now I like to reset the position over here so it's on zero 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 and you can see how it basically it has uh, created water with a really small island even though we cannot we are not gonna use these islands so we're basically gonna just make this really, really small okay so and uh, just grab the spline points and you start move them into a really small position like this, like this, there we go. Just get it like this, and this points like this. So it's because we're gonna use the one of the meshes, Quixel, to make the ground. So we are not gonna use basically um, a normal landscape, basically. So, and I'm gonna go also into settings. I'm, I'm gonna go into fall off settings, and in angle, I'm gonna place like 10, and width like 100. And then edge offset like a hundred and set offset just 10 actually zero and there we go so now it's even smaller um, we are gonna make this as close to each other as possible okay so now that we have uh, pretty much the ocean on here what we're going to do is drag our basic um, ground floor mesh so let's go into mega scans into 3d assets and let's find our snowy ground, which is this one. Uh, so basically, just drag the mesh into the scene, and you can see that we have it on here. Now, uh, it's just compiling the shaders. Uh, you can see it's very, very small, so we'll have to make it uh, a bit bigger. Uh, also, recommend you saving the levels. So, Ctrl S, I'm just gonna create a new folder, go with the levels, because I like having everything uh, organized. Uh, here, this. And then, I'm just gonna put um, iceberg. Um, Iceland or whatever you want to call it and just save the level we go okay so now basically it has been done over here now just to get a sense of scale I'm just gonna press play to spawn my third person character and you see how big the island right now it is and right now I'm liking the scale of the um, landscape so I'm gonna basically scale this uh, kind of the size of the landscape basically okay so I'm just gonna go over here Drag this over 90 degrees and then you start making it much bigger now kind of like this pretty cool so i'm gonna start placing it over here now because i know that i'm not gonna use the island what i'm gonna do right now is just 
drag it onto here. Okay, so this is basically gonna be our icebreak, let's say. Now, uh, to make this a bit more playable, what we have to do is go into the mesh and add a collision because if not, it will, you know, basically go through the ground. Just go, oh, I'm gonna place this on here. Go to collision, add out convex collision. So this will appear. And I'm just gonna increase the hole count into eight, the max vertice uh, things into 25 around, and hole precision into 5000. I'm gonna apply it. Um, and then what we'll see in a second is generating the collisions. And there we go. And just basically a basic collision uh, with the form of the, of the um, mesh. Um, and the more, you know, hole precision, hole count, and birds uh, it's gonna have, the, the better it's gonna, and more precise it's gonna be. But it's okay for now. So for example, just if we press play right now, you will see how cool it is looking. Now, maybe there's a tweaking to be done in the collision, you can see, but uh, I think it's looking really, really cool. Okay, so there's a thing I'm gonna do, is just maybe stretch it a bit, so it's a bit more uh, kind of plain, and then drag it a bit more to the ground. Now there's too many waves, so I'm gonna select the water body ocean, and I'm just gonna go into uh, where the waves are, and in the attenuation, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, start increasing this a lot. There we go, and you can see now the water is much uh, more like still. Um, basically, just remove the 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 water waves assets and we'll have really small uh little waves so i'm liking right now how it's looking always remember to uh save the product and what we're going to do is start adding our little snowy cliffs so just go into 3d assets and i'm going to start with our first ice cliff which is this one um really basic really cool so i just drag it into the scene now you have to note that they're just one-sided so if you want to later on, you know, put the scene to be, uh, you can see it from the other sides, you will have to, you know, put also clips into the other side. But yeah, just play around. So I'm going to start placing that over here and just start putting it over this side over here and just make it a bit better. And I'm going to use different clips, um, for example, this one too. So let's just drag it into the scene and you have to just play around. And start in placing some, you know, basic clips over here. So look, uh, I like also playing a lot with the scale. You know, like I see how the depth on the um, y-axis changes the whole shape, pretty much of the cliff. So just start experimenting with the um, shapes, and also I like to, you know, the differences in heights and things like that. So yeah, it's it's just it's just basically playing with uh, different cool values and settings and having a really good result. In my case, we only have these two clips. I mean, you can have more from the Quicksilver Bridge, but I think this um, this ones were pretty much enough. So you start playing with this, put in different values over here, making this bigger, this, change the depth, there we go. And you can see already how uh, cool all the iceberg is pretty much looking. Um, just go ahead and also start adding more clips over here and this is just pretty much like i mentioned before um playing with different values until you find what you are basically looking for in your uh, environment um so yes it's, it's definitely a lot of tweaking but you can see how ready it's looking pretty pretty cool um our environment now note that right now into the other side there's clearly not any um you know meshes because there's only one side so uh, but we'll have to basically duplicate them so and just merge them kind of so if you just start rotating them and placing like this you slowly start fitting them into their um, other side uh, which is kind of just playing with different settings and stuff like that so you know just create i'm i'm, I'm not really an a level designer or you know, things like that i'm a more of a programmer so i made more of a gameplay mechanics by code things like that just a game developer in general but i um do know some things about level design um base based the things and it's just you have to take more time and just start um you know playing around with different uh view different viewport different types of um environments 
and you start to get some really cool results. So about the um, the two sided things, you can see that we have different things over here. Well, basically the best way to hide these things is pretty much just creating really small. Um, uh, wait, here we go. Really small versions of the the mesh, and you start to paste it over here like this make it smaller stretchy uh, also i like disabling the snap sometimes so i get more freedom this is just preference um but you can play like you want to have different cool values and the rotation is key over here to make it merge with the uh, with the sparks over here and let's make it a bit hide over here and maybe we have to duplicate this one and slowly you can see that we're starting to you know build also the other side now there's a thing a lot of things to go as you can see uh, to basically start um you know hiding the imperfections over here now probably on here we'll have to make some more tweaks so uh maybe a cool thing is just to add the snow ground over here and change the size and the position also uh, sometimes you have to change between local and world uh, positions so in the world it, it will always get the um, basically the the accesses on the world but in here in local it will be the forward of and, and the upside and everything of the object which is just easier sometimes to work with. But you can see already how we are starting to create this in environment that is looking really cool. And we have pretty much built it just in like seven minutes, which is you know, pretty impressive. Thanks to, of course, quick assets and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's looking really cool. Um, let's, for example, duplicate this one. Now, I do suggest getting some really small kind of rocks. So we go into window, Quixel Bridge. And if we go and search again for um, ice, and we also go into 3D assets, you can see that we also have other meshes that maybe will help us, um, you know, uh, get these imperfections and just make them look better. For example, I think this rocky snow pile will come in pretty handy so I'm just gonna go ahead and load it and import it into my project and I know it's like pretty bad that you know there are only one sided and not two sided yet that's something that I would like to see more from Quixel is different meshes that are also from two sided and I know that from 3D scan and photogrammetry it's pretty hard to do this but yeah it, it will save a lot of time to a lot of people in this scenarios just go ahead and import it into my project once it's downloaded and yeah you can see our snow pile has imported and it looks really cool so now we can maybe uh, use it to hide this more um, smaller imperfections and overall it will just be easier than using massive assets right And yeah, I will not be hiding all of them, uh, but you can see now how you know we would do that, and just you know being placing this kind of small rocks and starting to hide these things. I mean, if you're doing a different level, and you're not gonna use double side all these things, you don't have to do. But of course, because I'm using double uh, sided, I have to do all this. Now, there's no problem in adding a lot of them to hide these imperfections, a lot of rugs, because of course, we are using nanite. So if we go into triangles, you can see all the triangles in nanite. And of course, you know that nanite works very, very well with performance. So, you know, we can place thousands of this and it will, you know, work and just really well. So yeah, you just you know, start experimenting and the thing is just playing around with different uh, values and positions and things like that. And if we go and press play, you can see how cool it looks already. It, it just, it, it is absolutely incre incredible how it looks. Now you can see that we have an issue with the collision on the ground. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just increase a bit the whole 
um, density and the precision and things like that uh, like I mentioned before so it's a bit better and also you can see that you know it doesn't have uh, collisions on the walls so let's go ahead and quickly edit let's go into different so you can select the thing uh, ctrl e to open it and then uh, I mean there's two ways of doing this you can create a simplified box collision um, for a bit of better performance uh, now the thing is that of course it's not gonna be exact you can see how um, uh, my player will not be able to go too close to it things like that and uh, you know for for the case I'm just gonna do the auto combat escalation over here and just press apply and you can see how it creates a more precise collision and I think I will you know enjoy more of this one basically but of course you're gonna place a thousand of this ones even though it has nanite if it has some uh you know really precise collisions maybe you have to turn it down and we'll do it with the other um one two so I just press apply on the auto comebacks and there we go save it and now we can open the uh the one that we did earlier gonna remove the collision and then we're gonna basically increase the whole precision to to the maximum pretty much this one I'm gonna turn it up into 27 whole count into 50 let's hope that nothing crashes so I'm gonna go ahead and counter shift save everything and I'll just press apply but yeah you can see I think this one really is much better uh, save it close it and now if I go I press play over here yeah that's definitely much better uh, now oh, there's still different you know okay ok ok so yeah there's still some issues with it um, I don't know what really is happening I guess we can turn this up all the way up also I'm just gonna go and create a player start so the player will start over here which is gonna be a bit better there we go now I can press play and we'll start there and yeah we are having some problems with the collision but you know you can play around uh, with that to have a more realistic approach so yeah guys if you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful i really appreciate it. you can like the video and subscribe um we are really near reaching 2k subscribers so if you want to help me out well subscribing will really help me out also like the video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment on other unreal engine pack shows you want to see and now yes with all that said bye bye